So trying to find the equation for a straight line or parabola using your graphics calculator. Now this is sort of a cheat. Um, you can use the graphics for kind of the basic problems, but for the higher level stuff you will want to learn how to do it by hand as well, but this will get you through with the basics. So you want to use stat in your graphics calculator. Um, so find the one that says stat and press enter. And what it's going to ask you to do is actually enter in some points for you. So you can think about list 1 being the x values and list 2 being the y. So you could say list 1 and list 2, thinking that this is really just your x value and this would really just be your y value. So what you need to do is read really carefully off of the graph at least two points for a straight line and at least three points for an x squared. So we need to find out what those points will be. Um, let's do the straight line first. So looking along the straight line, I need to find a point I can read exactly. So that one's not going to do what's in between the grids, but one like this could work for me. And going a little bit further along, go back up, I can see that there's another point that I can read exactly there as well. So those two points are 0 and 4, and negative 1, comma 6. So if I enter those in over here, 0, and you have to do them as pairs, so 0 and 4 go together, and the next one 6 in the y, and its x value is going to be negative 1. So again, they go in pairs across from each other, x comma y, x comma y, and for the straight line you only need two points, but we could put in a third one if we want, something like this, um, and that's going to be 2 comma 0, so we'll go ahead and do that, 2 comma 0. So when in doubt, put in three points, but if you know it's a straight line, you can put in just the two. Now your next thing is to hit on graph, graph 1, and take a look here as a little dummy check for yourself first. See those three points? Those are the three points you've put in, and, and they kind of look like they're going in a straight line, which is in fact what we have on the graph here, so that's a good sign. So use that as a chance to just double check you entered them the points wrong. If you saw one of them was off not on the line, you might think, oh, maybe I got the x and y backwards or forgot a negative or something. So from here, knowing that it looks like a straight line, I'll hit calc. And then I need to select which option I want to go for. Now for a straight line, I'm going to use x, because it's just that one variable there. And here I'm being given a bunch of junk, and I just kind of figure out what that means. Um, it's given me the basic format of the equation as y equals something times x plus something else. So what we need to do is just replace the a with the value given to me, which is negative 2, and replace the b with the value given to me, which is 4. And if you have the newer versions of the calculator, you should also just double check that r squared says equals 1. If r squared is not equal to 1, you might have gotten a point wrong, or maybe it's a parabola, not a straight line. So always double check that, that you get the r squared is equal to 1. So for this equation here, the green one, we would then write out y is equal to a is really negative 2, x, and b is plus 4. So that works for us. So let's go backwards and get these other two equations in here as well. So if I need to delete points, I can, in fact, delete them one by one. Or you can also just type over it, or you can exit backwards move over for more and hit delete all and it will delete everything in that column and hit delete all and it will again delete everything in that column. So let's find some points on the red graph that will actually be useful for us and for a parabola you do need at least three points here so we do need to have the three. So reading very carefully you can't approximate you have to know exactly what it is. Let's fo look for points that actually cross right over the grid lines. So that looks like a good one to me. That's negative 5, comma 3. Going down here, that looks like another good one to me. That's negative 2, comma negative 3. And can use another one that looks like it might be good. I'm using symmetry if you want, but let's just go for this one up here which is at 2, comma 3. Okay, 
So three points that I can read exactly, and we'll enter them in again as coordinate pairs x comma y. So two, scroll over for three, next point, negative two, negative three, next point is negative five, comma three. Well, that's funny, we picked all the ones with threes there. And now we need to go and find our graph option, but here I don't see it, so don't freak out, remember? Just need to arrow over and look for more options between the deleting and graph. So here's our graph, click on that, click graph one, and stop for a second and double check. Certainly those points look like they could be points on the parabola. So calc. And because it's a parabola, we need to use the x squared, that x little hat squared, that's the option that we need to use. So x bracket, or x hat two. Again, another point for a dummy check, that r squared value is equal to one, so I'm in good shape. And let's just fill in what these points tell us. So I've got a generic equation here, y equals something x squared plus something x plus something else. And let's see what they say. So y, I would write, y is equal to, a is equal to 0 0.5, so 0 0.5 x squared plus b is 1.5 x minus c, which is minus, sorry, plus c, and in this case that was minus 2. So that would be the equation for the red graph. Again, just reading the points off there. So we'll go through and just do one more example if you want. Again, you can delete everything, or if you want, you can just type right over. So I'll show you that this time. Let's just type right over. So let's go and find three perfect points on the purple graph. That looks like one, zero, comma, negative three. That's a bit busy, let's use this one here. Two, comma, five. And we'll use this one here. Five, comma, So starting there, 0 over and up, negative 3. Next one is going to be 2 and 5, so 2, 5. And the next one is going to be 5, comma 2, 5, 2. Got my points in there, graph, graph 1, calc, Oop. go back and just double check. Looks like it could be a parabola, calc x2 for a graphic or for a parabola and here I see negative 1x squared plus 6x minus 3. So I would say y is equal to negative 1x squared plus 6 minus 3 and that gives me the equation for the purple line. So again this is for the basics. Uh, you'll want to follow up on how to find the equation of the parabola by hand um, with and without k for the higher level problems.